Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we talked about what is expectations in the Delta Life table, how we can use these expectations, what all different component it has, and what all actions you can perform in the I mean by using these expectations. Okay. Now in this video, we will talk about how we can use these expectations to filter out the records based on the type of expectation okay what i mean is in in the native or in the normal spark world right what we generally do is whenever we perform our data quality checks we segregate the the good data and the error records right that's what we are we are planning to do here as well so how we can achieve it right <clears throat> since it has some predefined syntax right so we need to follow those syntax and try to achieve our requirement okay so what we are going to achieve here is once we apply these expectations okay we wanted to get we wanted to get two tables one with the correct records okay and the other one which has the error records now to get this error records and correct records we can use one of the actions which I talked about earlier that is called warning, right? If you are not aware like how we can use warning, uh, you can go and check the previous video. So there is an annotation called at the rate expect which you can use, okay? So what I can do, I can use this annotation expect, okay? And uh, I, I can pass my expectations here with the condition or whatever, okay? And it will give me true or false value okay so what I'm gonna do is when I will apply this expectation on one of the table let's say table 1 okay table 1 I will add a column add a column to store this true and false value in it okay and then once this value will be stored inside the table what I have to do is I will create two subsequent tables again one which will give us the correct record okay where I will put a filter on true statement and one where I will put a filter on the false statement and which will give us the error record so this is the approach which we can follow to handle our uh, correct and the error records this is one of the approach basically the second approach could be since you know there is another action expect or drop okay and you can pass your expectation description here and the condition which we talked about in last video and let's say your condition here is to verify is not null or something like that right not null and you will create a table out of it okay which will give you only the correct records right because it will drop the error records which has the null values now what you can do you can create another table with another expect or drop function or drop annotation in which you can define your description and condition and in this time in condition instead of writing is not null you can simply write is null the opposite one right so what it will do it will find all the null values and store it in a table which will be your error records right now these are the two mechanism which we can use to handle the error records and the correct records now which one is better obviously the first one right because in the first one we are applying this expectation only one time and then we are just doing the filters right but in the second one we are performing the same operation two times right which will take more resources as far as I think okay so you can you can share your suggestions also like which one is better but I will go ahead with the first one okay and I can do this uh, uh, segregation of data basically and then this correct data will be loaded to the silver level okay so in the ideal world of DLT this entire work should be done this this entire work should be done on a view right because you don't want to physicalize this table right you just wanted to get this information and then you can create two tables out of it but just to showcase you like 
how this gonna look like right i will first create the tables these three tables okay like first of all i will create a bronze table from bronze i will create another table let's say stage table or something where i will be storing this value and then i will create two more tables one for correct data and one for incorrect data okay so this will be my flow so let me quickly go back to the notebook uh, <clears throat> let me run this one time in mean okay i think we still have time okay so this is your uh, libraries which you have imported okay in the notebook the schema which you have created and the cloud file options which we have used right this is the same code which we are using from last two three sessions right now here you are creating a table where you are reading the files from the volume again if you are watching it first time then volume is like a mount point where you have stored all the files then this is the checks which we have created we wanted to check the null values in these two columns okay and this will create our stage table i am using expect all because there are multiple checks right and uh, then based on this table i am creating two more tables right so what all changes i have to do now right to get this values because if i run it right now right it will dump the as it is that the same data you will see all the records will be moved to stage table and then this valid as well as invalid table let me show you guys okay in meanwhile we will make the changes also but let me first showcase you and then we will do the changes which we discussed and we'll see how it is actually segregating your bad records and the uh, correct records okay so it will take one minute or so i'll pause the video for that okay so i started setting up the tables now and once the tables are set up you can see here okay setting up the tables you will see the table names here in some time and once those tables will be set it will start rendering see it's created those tables right so this is the data set right we have three data sets streaming table streaming table streaming table well, i mean to say four data sets not just three and then the graph started so if you see here the bronze has 38 records same way the stage table has and we have invalid and valid both has 38 records because as of now we are not doing any filtration we are not doing anything right we are just simply uh, dumping the data into two different tables as well from the stage table now what what change we have to do okay so to make a change what i will do i'll create a string here which will combine the the checks or you can say the expectations the above mentioned expectations okay so let's say i'll name it as dq rules you can name it anything and uh, then I'll, I'll i'll create a string you can say okay let's see I'll pass the value here by concatenating about two values using join. Okay, so I'll use the joins and I'll say whatever values we have in the dictionary, take those values, okay, concatenate both of them with the end uh, operator in between and then add a bracket okay so this is how you can do it uh, i think yes this is fine the brackets are there then this bracket then this bracket. okay my bad so now we are good so we have the dq rule ready with us now what i have to do is i have to create a column in this table in the stage table okay where i can store true or false value so what i'll write i'll write with column right this is the function we have to create a table and then you can name it as anything let's say is valid or something whatever you want and then you can pass the value right so with the column with column and this is my value right so this dq is basically a string so i have to use expression to evaluate this particular string okay and that's it 
we are good to go okay so once this is done now we will receive one new data frame which has this column which will have true or false value now i can use the same column to filter out the records so this is a valid table right where we wanted to store the valid record so what i will do i will simply filter it out okay i will say is valid equal to true and same way i will apply another filter is valid equal to false that's it these will be the changes right so this was the initial work right after making this change let's see what will be the output in these two tables let's refresh it again <coughs> so it will initialize again it will take one minute so it started setting up the tables now okay <coughs> now once the tables are set you will see all the data sets are ready and and now you will understand right why i am saying the data set in my second lecture about this dlt right what all different data sets we have right we talked about this so as of now these are all streaming tables that we have but we can change it right accordingly so again in the stage we got 38 fine now in these two tables we will see the different values right so if you see in the invalid we got seven records right and we know that we have seven uh, null values, right, all together, which I have shown you in, in the last video, right. Out of these files, there are two files which have uh, seven records in total, which has null values, right. Five in, I think, the name column and two into the uh, description column, right. So this is how we can do. And the second approach which I talked about, let, let's, let's see that one also quickly. Okay, what I'll do, I'll, I'll quickly create two tables. One, and I'll create another one by copying it only. <coughs> okay, and I will say, let's say this is valid, this is invalid, and I'll name it, let's say one. One. Since Okay, I'll read it from the stage, but I can directly read it from the branch as well. It is up to me. Let me read it from the branch better. Okay, so I'm reading the table from the, I'm reading a branch table. I don't need this filter now because this is the second approach, right? I don't need this filter. What I need is a, basically an expectation, right? In these two tables, on these two tables. So what I will do, I'll add these two expectations. Instead of expect all, I'll say expect all or drop okay because i wanted to drop it so uh, and what i wanted to drop basically let's copy this one only that is enough <coughs> so i'm just trying to give you an example okay so let's say this is this is your uh, i mean to say your condition okay i mean your uh, uh, what to say this is your description and this is your expectation okay the condition basically and comma right and in the similar way you can define here as well okay so what i have done it's a valid one it's an invalid one right so here i'll say is null and here i will say is not null okay I think you got the point so basically i'm creating two tables by changing the conditions here okay just one more change here i mean we don't need these brackets because of copy paste it came here so let me just remove it and this description column has only two values which are null so you will see around 36 values here in the valid columns and uh, two values in the inside the invalid table okay so let's start running this and you will see this flow getting changed okay also because now we have four plus two six tables okay so let's see it will take some time so it started setting up the tables again okay and now we will see at least seven data sets uh six data set i mean to say my bad
a1 okay this is the data set life cycle my bad okay so one not one here data set one two three four five six six data sets are created and now you will see the graph as well <coughs> so you see this is my graph as soon as i'm hovering it it is showing me like right and you see the difference now okay so let's try to understand this one uh, we'll go to the list view that will give us a clear picture okay so the ones we have created newly right and i told you only two records i have written as a null value right in the description so that's why i got two records in the invalid and in valid i got 36 records right so this is how if you wanted to segregate your uh, uh, your correct data and invalid records or the error records you can use it right these are the two approaches so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys thank you thanks for watching this video